We got this 44 foot trim run about 7 months ago and about 4000 hours later we're still working on it and you think we are crazy and yes I guess we are. The boat has been totally rebuilt during day, night, rainy season, dry season, with sweat and with tears. And one thing's for sure, she will be an awesome boat made just like we want her. Well, she is up. That catwalk feels really good. Before I start the work this morning, I'm going down to the marina to help uh, Bernie on Rosa de Mar. Uh, I need to hoist him up in the mast so he can fix some things up there. This is actually the third time I'm going over there to hoist him up. First time he took him down and uh, yesterday I was supposed to hoist him up again. And we got halfway up the mast and then his bag broke with all his tools and drill and uh, the wind transducer. Everything fell right down on deck and the wind transducer got into the water as well. But damn, it was good I was on the other side of the mast when hoisting him on the winch. Because otherwise I would probably would have died, I mean. <laughs> getting that, that bag in my head wouldn't have been that good. So, yeah, hopefully better luck this, this time. He's up there fiddling now. Well, you get pretty exhausted after you're hoisting someone up, up with this. We tried first to, to use the, um, the windlass. It was a little bit of an angle, so it slipped, so we didn't dare really to use it. Yeah, it's probably gonna be up there for a little while. How many holes do you have left? So, well, I have my last hole to drill here. And the machine will break. <laughs> You're such an optimistic <laughs> girl. Oh, it's gonna be so good when all this also be done. Yeah, probably needs uh, some small adjustments on some on some of them, but the last hole is always the last hole. Yeah. Can you estimate how many holes you made? Uh, well, what is it? Uh, 200, more or less. Oh my god. A little bit more, maybe. That's exhausting. Over like one month, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that become very fast. I mean, I did almost all these holes now, like in three hours. Wow. So, if you need somebody who can make holes, call me. <laughs> okay, so today is Sunday, but you know what? We always work Sundays, so what does it matter that it's Sunday? And I'm pretty exhausted at the moment. I think it's about 2-3 o'clock. We've just um, finished up uh, some uh, fairing job. So it's just... Um, uh, the sanding of the fairing compound left, so I'm starting with that tomorrow. And I think Karen's supposed to get here soon with some kind of treat. It's beer, of course. Well, let's see if she gets here. I can see you. Did you bring me any treat? Only me. This is your, this is regular drink for you. It's not a treat. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would a treat be for me then? Uh, a rum drink. A rum drink? <laughs> like what? Use some rum on the ice. Nah, well, that's not usually what I drink. I would say a treat would be maybe a mojito. Yeah, that's true. But they didn't have any mojito down there. She only had cool coolers. Okay, not good. No, okay. So, beer and sandwich, but here's your treat. Oh, cookies. cookies. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. Mm, apple. Okay, just listen to the sound. Okay, I think I better go up to my beer now. Ooh, gentle fingers. Doesn't seem to be a line. Huh? Maybe that's why it's been leaking. Yeah. 
That's not our project. Our? Well, it became a project now, I guess. Somebody else has done that one. Not been that. So it's been a small leak here, but I think it was just that they didn't have it enough season. And uh, you can see there's small gaps all around. Mm, yeah. So that's what you're trying to do now. We'll sand it down and then we will glass it in. You glass it in, yeah. Yeah. The glassing woman. I still have two screws here. Yeah, I had to drill those out. Yeah, we Impossible to get them out. It's no fun drilling things out. Well, this is the minor projects here. Some dim laminating here. We just added some filler, and we're gonna blast that part. This mm. one also. The deck is starting to look pretty red at the moment. A lot of fairing compound, so we've got some areas to sand, I guess. Not really done there yet, but some more. A quick resume, what we've done the last weeks, okay? <laughs> Where shall I start? I mean, okay. We sanded the whole cockpit, it took a long, long time. We put fairing compound this morning and it's gonna be sanded tomorrow. We put up both catwalks, we glassed them in, we put fairing compound and we've sanded it. It's the same on the other side. Oh my gosh, I'm already getting exhausted. We're putting fairing compound on the deck, haven't sanded yet. You see all the red spots, it's a lot of areas. And here where I'm standing as well. And on the hull as well, the whole hull, not the whole hull, okay, I'm ex exaggerating, but still, it's a lot of compound. Yeah. What else have we done, Karen, the last couple of weeks? Feels like we've done a lot, but. We make all the holes. Yeah, the yeah, the PVC tubes, all the holes there. You see there, and we have it there, and we have it here. So it's a lot of holes. Yeah, of course. Oh, I have to go up here. It all started also, I think, here in the bow. We put new, we put um, PVC tubes here, we glassed them in, and we did the same here. And of course, the one I just showed you, since it was a lot of glassing, so that took a long time as well. Whew, I'm getting exhausted just by telling you guys this. Um, yeah, so we've been pretty productive the last couple of weeks. Don't you think so, babe? Yeah. yeah. And here's another project Karen is working with. Another frame. The the last frame had rotten away more or less. That was no good. So she made a new one. Hmm, I see you working on the other hatch now. So that means that you're done with the forward hatch? Mm, need some more sanding there. I think. I smell scope creep. <laughs> more? But I covered yesterday and I don't wanna uncover it for five minutes and then cover it again, so. Yeah. I will finalize this. So what are you doing over there now? I'm planing. This planing? That's usually what a boat does when it goes up up to planing, yeah? <laughs> but uh, this is my new favorite toy. Uh, I played with that yesterday. It was pretty nice. Super fun. <laughs> I don't know if it's super fun, but it's pretty, pretty convenient and good to use. I will use anything. For every project I do, I will use this. Mm. <laughs> I can use it for fiberglassing, making radius, yeah, you know, anything. Yeah. But, uh, I. It looks super fun. <laughs> I've had my, my fun of the day. Uh, fairing, putting fairing compound on the on all the whole cockpit. Ah, uh, it's exhausting. Would you like to have a look? Yeah. The hatch? Sure. Well, so here I have my um, catwalk. So let's go on the catwalk. Awesome. So show me why are you planning it? 
because it's a curve on the deck. Because uh, I added... Yeah. And it has to be straight, of course. Can you hear any rattling? No, you can't. No. You, do, you did a good job. I think it's maybe one mil gap here. You think the sealant will fill that up? You'll fix that. I will. I'm getting a little bit tired now. So we, we're quitting earlier today, I guess. We are. So we go to the beach, have some beers, some good food. With the Morelia and Malio, they should show up here. And also Alma and Laura, our Mexican friends. Where are you? Should be here soon, I guess.